We started Filmgate in 2012 uh, as a Canadian import and a Miami filmmaker. Um, so uh, we started Filmgate from a necessity. We were looking for us to exist and nothing like us existed. Uh, and uh, we came together and over one night we kind of sketched out the initial parts of Filmgate. Um, and it's been growing ever since. When we started, um, we just did screenings, uh, we did small workshops for the city. Um, we had to kind of see what level of filmmaking was out there, so we would do that with networkers and things like that. But then eventually, our, I guess the community outgrew its, its bad filmmaking uh, days that it had back then. Uh, it was a lot of gunfights and like a lot of uh, violence. <laughs> Miami was very violent back then, and mostly they had bad sound and stuff like that. So, so we kind of elevated with our workshops, and that's it. And then a new breed of filmmaking came in as far as now we're telling stories about like old age or romance, and we got to see the tapestry of what like real Miami had out there to offer. So the first project with it, we um, we have three tentacles as we call them: um, educate, create, and show. Um, so educate is all the labs and the workshops. So for example, at the moment uh, we have a lab that's specifically to um, immersive storytelling for female identifying creators. Uh, but then also we have the boot camps that you saw, like the film, filmmaker boot camp and acting boot camp. Uh, we do in the summer young young adult boot camps as well, um, kind of prepping kids before they go to college with their uh, with their reels. They create a short film basically in two weeks uh, from scratch. Uh, but we started with a film festival that used to be called I'm Not Gonna Move to LA, and now it's just called the Filmgate Festival. And that is uh, short films made by Florida filmmakers. So you have to be a Florida filmmaker in order to present. And it's been happening every single month since 2012. And we are a membership-based organization. So the create part is we have 300 members at the moment and we help them from idea all the way to festival delivery with their projects, short films, pilots, feature films, documentaries. And uh, we are starting to also create uh, in-house. So we've had fellows that are now in the festival circuit with short films and feature films, but mostly shorts for now. I started here about a year ago as a volunteer. Um, I came to Miami and uh, Filmgate was uh, an organization that embraced me and uh, it's really opened the door to a lot of opportunities for me as a filmmaker coming from Colombia um, and uh, it's really helped me connect to, to, to the film community here in Miami. Yeah, I'm, I'm a filmmaker born and raised here in Miami, came from Kendall, uh, went to Miami Dade College, uh, didn't really have much knowledge of how to get into the industry, really all the advice I got was you gotta move to LA bro. Gotta go to New York, gotta go to LA if you wanna make it in the film industry. And I just felt like there was so much untapped potential to the voice of Miami. Like, we have such a unique voice, so why go somewhere else and have to transform that into something else to make it heard, you know? Miami's one of the 10th poorest cities in the, in the country, and we wanna see how we can alleviate that with our nonprofit as well by, like, as you said, like um, getting people educated and trained on virtual reality technologies and immersive experiences making. Telling Miami stories. What's the word? Telling Miami stories. Come in, we are here almost every day. Just drop in or send us an email. Uh, but we always say, please become a member, because once you become a member, you are cocooned into the entire family.